In this example, I'm going to be removing a tooth. You can just select the model which you want to be cutting and then shift right click to place your cursor. Okay, import your plane cutter. We are going to lift it slightly. In the outline window, you will notice that the original model has been duplicated just in case you need it later down the line. This is a subdivided plane. Let me rotate it to view it from the top. In this example, I'm going to be extracting tooth 1.5. I'm going to be selecting a vertex from the plane. Now I'm going to view it perpendicular and by using the G key, the GZ, I'm going to be pulling down these vertices. Okay, I'm going to take it down to where my cursor is and then after using the G key, manipulate these vertices. Cut selected. This is perfect. Now we are left with our sectioned tooth. I will briefly unlock it and then demonstrate. Be back at the scene with the die. I'm going to now select the die and the model. Shift left click, both are selected. Shift right click to place my cursor and then use the plane cutting tool. This is going to cut both the model and the die. In this example, we just want to make the die and model a little bit shorter. The model and die have now been sectioned. Let me hide them to demonstrate. The plain cutter can be duplicated. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to select all of these by shift left clicking and then I'm going to place my cursor. Bring in your plain cutting tool. You can expect all three objects to be cut. You can use shift D to duplicate these cutters. We can expect this to give us many different sections. Additionally to this, you can also manipulate the mesh of each plane. This gives us great versatility. I'm excited to see what the outcome of this is going to be like. All right. Now in the outliner window, you will see all of the sectioned pieces as well as the unsectioned and also you're going to see the plain cutters which you can still use at a later stage if you need to. Perfect. We are now left with many different sections.